we're going to look at graphing functions using standard form. I have a bunch of stuff set up here, so what you might want to do is pause the video and write down what you see here on your piece of paper as notes. So to start graphing in standard form, first let's remind ourselves what form we usually see our equations in and what we see in our equations in last year. So last year we really worked a lot with y-intercept form and that looked like this. You had a y equal some number m x plus some number b. So that would have been our y-intercept form. Standard form looks a little bit different. It's still an equation of a line but in this case it's going to be a x plus b y equals c. So as you can see I have a equation right here. In our case a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 6. So in standard form you're always going to have a number in front of x variable and a number, and a number in front of the y variable. In standard form, you will see both the x and y on the same side of the equal sign. So how do we graph something that looks like this? Well, if I want to graph something that looks like this, I think about graphing on the y and x axis. So let's think about this for a second. We look back, uh, if you think back to an activity where I asked what would a point look like if we were on the y-axis or the x-axis. So if we think back to that, if we were on the y-axis, that goes up and down here, reminder that when we're on the y-axis, when we're on the y-axis, x is 0. And when we're on the x-axis, y is 0. So if I'm going to find a point that corresponds with this line, and I'm going to have it on the y-axis, well I know for sure that that point will have 0 for the x. So I'm going to plug x, or excuse me, I'm going to plug 0 in for x. 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 6. That means I now can solve for y. I only have y, so I can solve for y. I don't know what y is yet, that's why I need to solve for it. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3y equals negative 6. Divide by 3 on both sides. Since 0 doesn't actually do anything, we don't even really have to write that. We would just have 3y equals negative 6. Divide by 3 on both sides, and y equals negative 2. So on the y-axis, it's 0, negative 2. On the x-axis, it's very similar, but I plug 0 in for y. So this is going to be 2x plus 3 times 0 equals negative 6. 3 times 0 is 0. We don't have to write 0. So 2x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 2, so x equals negative 3. I only need two points to graph a line. So I have 0, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 2. It's on the y-axis. And negative 3, 0. So 1, 2, 3... 0. I only need two lines, so now I can draw a straight line through those two points. So that's how I would graph a line in standard form. So you're now you're going to be practicing this with a few other problems from the book.